So it's been 13 years since we had a really good Batman film. Batman Returns was the last serious take of The Dark Knight. At least up until 2005, Christopher Nolan directed his origin hero story, Batman Begins. Batman Begins is the perfect arc for our hero. Christopher Nolan is the best director to have handled the Batman character in my opinion. What he and Tim Burton have done with his characters in this universe are two very completely different styles and I love them both for what they are. And they're different takes and um approaches to the characters. Billionaire Bruce Wayne sets out to leave the city to better understand those who struggle that are less fortunate than him. He is built and trained by the League of Shadows, only to return back to Gotham, not as a man, but as a symbol. A symbol that will prey on those who prey on the fearful. In Tim Burton's 1989's Batman, it was an awakening of what the Batman character could be, with a visually stunning and dark atmosphere, but still had hints of playful humor from the Joker. Nolan's direction was taking a much darker approach, not going with a gothic tone of the city, but delves into the best traits of their comic book characters, making them more human and relatable. Christian Bell was cast as Batman, and in this first installment, I think he does a very good job of portraying both Bruce Wayne and his alter ego. With classically trained and Oscar winner Michael Caine as Alfred, we see a much more personal relationship between the two. And it never hurts to have Gary Oldman and Morgan Freeman in your film. The villains are also what makes this film so exciting. Being new to the Batman films we've seen before, we got Killian Murphy and Liam Neeson and Tom Wilkinson, with the Scarecrow and Ra's al Ghul playing the key role in Bruce overcoming his fear and learning to use it for the good of Gotham. The only downfall I have on this film is the choreography and the action. It's edited so quickly that you can't tell what's going on. And the other problem being Katie Holmes. She doesn't fit in this cast. To be blunt, she's the weak link. Thankfully, she has a minor role. She's an important character to the story, but thankfully she's not given a whole lot of screen time. The other characters are great. They are really strong. The city of Gotham is much more modern and polished. The film is also told through flashbacks, showing Bruce's past. Of course, we see the death of his parents again. It's a really well woven story. It's not only a good Batman film, but a good film in general. Batman Begins is easily the best comic book adaptation we've seen on screen. Wow! <laughs> 